make sure and also talk about education. Uh, one of the things we always talk about when we're speaking about motivation, I always try to talk to my kids about knowing why you're doing something. You know, it's easy for me to say, or your parents to say, go to the room and clean up. And you may think in your head, well, why do I gotta go clean up? I'm the only one that's staying in the room. If I like it the way it is, then it ought to be okay, right? But you never know the reason why your parents are telling you to clean up. Sometimes it's because we got company coming over. Sometimes it's because they don't want the little pesky little insects and all them coming in your room, all right? But once you know the why, then you're willing to get out there and do it. It's the same thing as sports. Ask yourself this question right quick. Why am I playing this game? Why am I here today? What is it that I'm getting out of this? And when you ask those things, those are the things that's gonna keep you motivated and help you push through. When I played Little League football, there were several reasons why I played. Number one, I liked playing because I was able to be out there with all my friends. We was out there to have fun, we was competing with one another. It was just the fun and love of being around the friends. Then it was just also seeing the smile that it put on my parents' face. To see me having fun and their laughing and having a good time, that motivated me too. Then thirdly, I just wanted to be good, become good at something. Found my niche and just went with it. So you have to always ask yourself that question. Why am I playing this game? And why is it that I'm doing what I'm doing? And am I really passionate about it? Because it's a team sport and we all got to work together to come with a, com a common goal. Next thing I'll talk to you about is education. How many of y'all like school? Everybody raise your hand. Everybody should raise your hand. Everybody raise your hand. Everybody raise your hand. Everybody raise your hand. We get it. Not everybody's gonna love school. I know, it's a long day, right? Eight hours of sitting in the classroom, of switching classes, listening to lectures and all these things like that. And sometimes you ask yourself, how am I gonna use this in life one day? You know, what good is this doing me? But what school teaches you? Teach you how to have structure. Teach you how to organize your life. Teach you how to be able to take instructions. Teach how to be able to take what you learn and then apply it. Those are the same things you use in sports. You have to be structured. You have to be able to stick to your routine and your schedule. You have to be really ready to attain information that your coach is getting. And then you got to be able to apply it in game situations. But I'm telling you about education also important because it also allows you to go into places in the life that you, that you can only dream of sometimes. You know, when I was in fourth grade, I'll never forget it. Fourth grade, I was in a little league football system just like you guys. I played for the Saints. And we had a great team. And they came up with this thing called no pass, no play. Well, I heard it, but you know, we didn't want it out there because I really wasn't just taking school too important at that time. It wasn't that I couldn't learn. It was just that I was in a classroom with a bunch of my friends. And we liked to laugh and we liked to joke. And there was this one particular class we had, Miss Fisher. That was her name. She taught us social studies. Man, we gave that woman the blues every day. Every opportunity we could, we was cracking jokes, we was disrupting class, all of that bad stuff, right? Well, it came time for grades, and all my friends had passed. And because I was sitting there being a class clown, she gave me a 69. All you needed was a 70 to pass. By one point, she kept me from playing football. I went home, I was writing to my mom about it, and my mom said, you know what? You gonna have to live with that. Because you shouldn't even be close to having those type of grades in the first place, but because you wanted to be a class clown, I'm not going to that school and say anything to anybody. You gonna live with it. And you know what, for the next three weeks, I had to go out to the field and sit there and watch my friends play, and it wasn't fun. It wasn't fun sitting at home sometimes and that car starting up getting ready to go to the game and warm up and I'm still, in, I'm still at the house. It's no fun at all, right? But it taught me a valuable lesson. From that point on, guess what? I wasn't flunking in class. I wasn't failing, I was on my books. I was still clowning, but I was still getting my books. And that's the same approach you got to take. If you love sports and you love what you do, take care of your business because guess what? That's what makes you become a man. A man knows how to take care of his responsibility. He has priorities in life. He organizes things and makes sure he accomplishes what he needs to accomplish. And that's what you need to do. So if football is important to you, basketball, whatever it is, start setting some priorities in your life. 
And then make sure you take care of the main thing each and every day to make sure that your fun is not taken away from you. So you can come out here and continue to play with all these guys that you see and you love, and you can continue to get great through all these great men who are coaching. So y'all go out and be the best you can, and always remember, give everything you got. Don't let nobody outwork you. When you out here today, I know y'all friends, but don't let nobody outwork you. We ain't friends till it's over with you. All right? All right? Thank you, folks.